Hello, my name is Brad Lambert. I'm Vice President of Flight Operations at Frontier Airlines. And I want to talk to you today about Frontier Airlines, our growth, opportunity for the future, and how we've been performing over the last couple of years. So who is Frontier Airlines? Our motto is low fares done right. What does that mean, low fares? We're very cost conscious. We want to keep our costs low and pass those savings on to our passengers. Done right means we deliver on safe, on time, safe and reliable transportation. So Frontier Airlines, again, low fares done right, on time, safe, reliable transportation from A to B at a cost that you can afford. So what are our values? We start with the people. We want to hire the best. One of the reasons we're at University of North Dakota is to interview and hire the best pilots that we find in the industry. We've had great uh, luck and great um, satisfaction with pilots we've hired from other university programs and we are so encouraged to be here at University of North Dakota and finding the absolute best pilots from this area as well. We want to do it right. Safety is our top priority. We're looking for pilots who are obviously comfortable, competent, safe, uh, just good high skill sets along with uh, great customer service. It is important to us, we are a low-cost carrier, to still deliver high levels of satisfaction to our customers. Our brand is important to us. Again, it's low fares done right, but that means that we have to do it right. So we are also looking for pilots who are not only safe and competent and comf comfortable being pilots, but also who can deliver the customer service that we're looking for. We don't always fly on time. We have disruptions. Sometimes we run late. And what we found is that because we're delivering a service and not a product, it is so important to us to make sure that we have pilots that can deliver that service. Let our passengers know about the delays, make sure they understand what's happening at any given time and just communicate, communicate, communicate. Our costs are key. It's very important that we control our costs. That is the way that we are able to manage the low fares that we provide to our consumers and our passengers come back because of that. 91% of our passengers come back and fly Frontier once again. And of that 91%, over two thirds are what we would consider to be our frequent flyers. So again, safe, competent, comfortable pilots, along with great customer service. That's our winning recipe. Frontier Airlines started in 1950 originally flying Convairs. Uh, in 1986, the original Frontier Airlines ceased operations at that time, they were flying 737s, uh, the early generation 200s. In 1994, the new Frontier Airlines began with two airplanes. By 2009, they were acquired by Republic Airways Holdings, 2013 by Indigo Partners, our majority shareholder today. And in 2014, we converted to a ultra low cost carrier. And although we say ultra low cost carrier, what we really mean is ultra high efficiency carrier. It's important to us that everything we do, we do with great levels of efficiency. We've been publicly traded since April 1st, 2021, a year ago, April Fool's Day. What does that do for us? Well, it gives us access to capital markets and we can use that capital should we need to in the future to continue to grow the fleet. Right now we have over 240 airplanes on order 115 or so in the fleet currently, so large order book, and we're looking forward to, to continue to grow our business. We made it through the pandemic. We are now on the other side of it for the most part. I know there's little pockets of it here and there, but uh, we have paid off the debt that we acquired for the most part during the pandemic. We've got more cash in the bank than we had pre-pandemic, and our business model has proven very resilient through the pandemic. So again, uh, we're proud to be publicly traded. We're proud to have that access to capital and all that allows us to continue to execute on our business plan. If we look back in the past a little bit in 2019 pre-COVID, uh, our revenues were approximately $2.5 billion. They dropped down to about half during 2020 as, as you may recall, March of 2020 is when we really started to understand the level of this pandemic, down to about 1.2 billion in 2021 back up to 2.5 billion, or 2 billion roughly, a little bit over 2 billion. And now in 2022, uh, we are about 20% larger in terms of air sea miles, ASMs, than we were in 2019. That compared to the rest of the industry, which is basically flat with 2019. So again, we have a resilient business plan. We've executed through the pandemic and things are going well for us now. We're a larger airline than we were, and we were able to take some market share through the pandemic. 
Lots of opportunity, quick upgrades, and those are real upgrades, by the way. Uh, right now, we're averaging three and a half to four years, uh, and those are not the one-off upgrades. These are, you'll go with your class of first officers. Uh, there'll be first officers moving up behind you, giving you better seniority, better schedules, things like that. 2022, by the end of the year, we'll have 124 aircraft, and if you look at 2027, we'll be up to about 233 aircraft, roughly two times the size, and a couple years later, almost three times the size of where we are today. It's great to be with a growing airline. Uh, I've been with growing airlines, I've been with contracting airlines, and the opportunity that growing airlines present are much nicer and much more uh, beneficial to our pilots than, than when we're working for contracting airlines. So we're looking forward to the future. Uh, we, um, uh, lots of airplanes coming and, uh, and, and lots of opportunities, by the way, um, administrative opportunities, training opportunities, all kinds of opportunities. Our promise to our employees is that we will provide long-term stable growth. So if you are looking for a position with an airline where you believe it will be stable, and we do believe we will be taking market share as a ULCC in the future, uh, absolutely Frontier is where to go. Our aircraft, we operate a fleet of 320s and 321s. Our 320s are about 72-73% NEO at this point, about 70, uh, about 15% more efficient than the CO aircraft are. Our 321 NEOs, Pratt & Whitney equipped NEOs, will be delivered in essence uh, at the end of July and early uh, August. So we're looking forward to having those on the property. Uh, a couple years from now, we'll also begin to accept the 321 XLRs, a lot more range, over 4,000 nautical miles with reserves. So we're looking forward to accepting those as well. And again, our business model has proved resilient. We're better off now than we were prior to the pandemic. Uh, paid off the debt, uh, had more cash in the bank, and more access to capital. So again, that is allowing us to fund the growth aircraft in the future. And uh, our, again, our, uh, our promise to our employees is long-term stable growth uh, flying our aircraft. If we look at 10-year total earnings, and again, these are real upgrades. We're a little over $2 million. And if you look at some of the other carriers, uh, we actually have better 10-year earnings than most other carriers. And why is that? mostly because of our upgrades. We've been averaging three and a half to four years at this point. We forecast that to continue for several years at least. Uh, again, with the number of orders, over 240 aircraft on order, we're gonna need pilots to fly those, and those pilots will be upgrading from our first officers. So again, these are real upgrades. These are upgrades that uh, you'll have people moving behind you, not the one-offs, not the one-off, uh, you know, LaGuardia reserve captain for 10 year type of thing. These are, these are real upgrades and real basis. So uh, again, our 10 year earnings are extremely important uh, for people trying to make a decision as to where they want to go. When we look at our actual first officer and captain rates, as you can see here, we moved uh, in February of this year to $75 an hour up from a little less than $60 an hour. And as you see the progression, you move to $127 an hour and then over to $222 an hour as a captain. In addition to these wage rates, and you can generally multiply these by 1,000 by hours to figure out what your actual yearly earnings, earnings would be, we add 14% this year and next year 15% into a direct contribution retirement fund that you do not have to pay into. So again, building that retirement for the future. Uh, we do have medical, dental, all the normal pass writing, health savings accounts, all the normal benefits that any airline would have. So good insurance, good rates, and, and above and beyond that, what we have uh, over some other airlines is flexibility and quality of life. We have the ability to drop trips at a higher level than most other airlines do. We have uh, PB PBS, preferential bidding systems used for bidding your schedules, um, which allow you to, to uh, pick the days off that you want and potentially the trips that you would like to fly. Our pilot bases right now, we're at uh, eight of them, or seven right now, actually the eighth, which is Phoenix, will open fourth quarter of this year. We've got Vegas, Denver, uh, Philadelphia, Atlanta, one of our newest bases, Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. People often ask, what is the junior base? Where will I end up? The nice thing about Frontier, with the order book we have in front of us, most of our bases will have openings in the future. Right now, primarily Atlanta. We do have openings in Philly, typically Miami, and, uh, and uh, Tampa as well, as I said. 
So um, some of the senior bases are Denver, Orlando's a bit senior, but we do see junior FOs making it over there. And again, with our growth profile, if you are in a base you don't want to be, you're likely going to be able to bid out of that within a couple months. We are the greenest airline. We've heavily invested, as I said, 72, 73% of our aircraft are NEO aircraft, new engine option aircraft with Airbus. 15 to 17% more efficient than the CO, the conventionally engined uh, Airbuses. That puts us about 45, 50% more efficient than most other airlines. As you can see, uh, American, we're 55% more efficient than they are. Uh, Delta United, 47 to 49%, and Southwest, 29%. Saves us quite a bit of fuel, and as uh, everyone knows these days, with fuel accelerating in cost, it is important for us to make sure we're operating the most efficient fleet we can. In addition to a large uh, fleet of NEO-equipped, more efficient engines on our aircraft, we also have higher seat density. We're able to spread the, uh, the, the cost of fuel and the carbon offset among more seats than other carriers do. And as you can see, there are Recaro seats, which we are equipping in our newest aircraft, are 30% lighter than the conventional seats that we had in previous aircraft. It's also important to note in terms of carbon offset, uh, we are members of Corsia for IATA International Flying. We do report the carbon emissions for international flights. And while that is not a current US regulation, we do believe it may be coming in the future and we will be in great shape to comply with carbon emission rules as the most efficient fleet in North America. Right now, we're currently getting about 100 ASMs per gallon of jet fuel burned, a uh, significantly more efficient fleet than, than our competitors. And again, the high seat density helps to distribute the carbon burn among more seats. While we're extremely happy to have uh, recognition from Apex and some of the other rating services out there, uh, what's most important to us is what our customers and our employees think about Frontier Airlines. As you can see there, there's some pictures of, uh, of several of our employees there. Uh, on the far right, on my right, is uh, Elise Swedberg, our chief pilot in Denver. Um, we do a great job of ensuring that, um, you know, everything we can possibly do to assist our employees in doing their job well. Uh, we're going to give them the tools that they need to ensure that they can perform to the levels that they would like to. It's important to be proud of your airline, and we want to make sure that all of our employees are proud working for Frontier. And that is it for me. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate the opportunity to put together this video. I hope if you have any further questions about Frontier Airline, you don't hesitate to reach out. You can apply for a job at Frontier Airlines on our website. It'll direct you to airline apps where you can fill out an application. And we are looking forward to continued um, uh, work with UND in the future to secure, again, the best airline pilots in the business. Thank you.